So, Thomas, have you been having a bit of fun with one of our macro grip vices today? Well, a bit of fun is a bit of an understatement, to be fair, Danny, because, uh, yeah, I've never seen a part being machined upside down before, so that was quite interesting. Yeah, but, on these grub machines, you know, it's pretty common. <laughs> but the thing is, we've, we've done a bit of upside down machining, but that's not all we've done today. We've done quite a lot of awkward machining, which we'll get to, but thank you for letting us use one of the vices. So tell me about the macro grip 125. So obviously the macro grip range is very well known in the industry. It's probably our biggest selling uh, product. You know, we've been making it for sort of 25, 30 years. So it's a very large range uh, of vices, different sizes, different jaw widths, uh, different accessories that go onto it. Um, and as you've, I'm sure you've seen today, you know, it's extremely robust and accurate. So um, perfect for this sort of machining environment. And just before we get onto the machine, and obviously the first option we've got to do, or operation we've got to do, is set it up. And with the kick, quick point play on the machine, it took seconds, not even minutes. Now, tell me about the quick point plays, because obviously we've got a standard one on, on this grub machine, but you do different ones as well. Yeah, so I mean, obviously everything, every piece of work holding we make comes with the studs in the bottom. We don't do anything that bolts to the machine bed, and that's because we're all about reducing your setup times, and that utilizes our zero point plates. So the quick point comes in various shapes and sizes to suit any type of machine, a fourth axis, a big five axis machine, machines with up to sort of three metre beds or you know down to little tiny machines with only 100 uh, millimetre diameter beds. Um, I mean, it, it's all mechanical. We don't do any pneumatic uh, zero point clamping and it's just simple. And I think that's why customers like it because it's just a simple case of dropping something on one turn on a, on a lead screw and it's centering whatever you're putting on top of there within five microns every time. And the thing is, we've not just done simple machining with this vice today. We, it's been upside down. We've had um, what we've classed as a gun drill going yeah. 270 odd mil deep. Um, there's been face milling, there's been pocket milling, there's been, you name it, we've tried to do it on this machine today. We've, we, we've tried to get that block out of the machine. And don't get me wrong, when it started, it was quite a hefty block. <laughs> now, you obviously do your stamping technology, which we didn't have today. So <laughs> were you nervous at all of what we were doing without stamping the block first? Not at all, to be honest. I mean, obviously this is uh, aluminium. So, you know, the teeth on our vice will, will undoubtedly bite into that material. I mean, the stamping has a huge amount of benefits, not just for clamping the, the billet securely, also, it reduces the vibration, so if you have very large billets, it stops the billet bouncing off the tool. Um, and obviously, with harder materials, it just means that you're able to clamp those really safely and securely. But also, repeat the part into the vise within 10 microns every time. So if you have to take it to inspection, put it back in the vise, if you've pre-stamped it, it will repeat within 10 microns. But, you know, I mean, I think the, the, our vices are so, um, they have such good quality because we've been making them for so long, you know, all of the uh, problems that anyone, any manufacturer has in the sort of early stages of their manufacturing journey, you know, have been ironed out and really it is just five axis perfection. <laughs> and I think, obviously this is the, the part we've done today and I think this just goes against, uh, goes with everything you've just said because you've got some really thin walls in here, like I said, the deep hole drilling all the way through, but just look at the surface finish. And you clamped on three mil. It's just, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. What, what, what we have done here at Grob today on this machine, flipping it around, drilling it from all different angles. And the thing is, we've not even been working bang center of the vise because as you can see, it is longer than the vise. So we've been working on either end. So try, it's not moved. It's, yeah. it's, it's really impressed me today. I mean, the, the, to be honest, the fact that it clamps on three mil, I often forget that. I've been doing this for so long now. <laughs> But you know, that is a massive benefit, especially if you're doing titanium and things like that. You know, the, just the material saving on clamping on three mil is, is, can be a massive saving. So, um, you know, as I say, we've been doing this for such a long time and it just, uh, you know, stuff like this isn't that impressive for me anymore, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. <laughs> well, it might not be impressive to you, but it was very impressive to me, mate. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, we run two billets through this and... The guys here at Grob were walking past laughing at me because obviously we got Chris, our cameraman, filming it. I was sort of stood in the middle of the room watching the screen with just a big grin on my face. And I think that just shows what we've done today. So, Danny, if anyone's watched this video and would like to know more about the Lang Vice we've used today, the Macro Grip, or anything in your range, 
How can they get in contact with you guys? I mean, our website, uh, www.lang-technic.co.uk is the best place to go. Um, our sales guys have all their mobile numbers on there. And the best thing to do is give us a call, get us to come and see you, have a look at what machine you've got, the parts that you want a machine, and we can quote you the right solution. As I said, we have an enormous range of uh, solutions. So, you know, whether you're doing small billets, big billets, different fixtures, anything, just give us a call and we'll come and see you. Well done, I was going to race you to the car park because I didn't want to clean the machine out after today, but the machine's cleaned itself, so we're just free to go home.